Hello everyone, this is Matt Bauer with another How My Computer Works video. This one will focus on transferring your photos and videos to your computer and maybe doing a thing or two with those photos once they're transferred. Now unless you actually cut and paste the photos from your camera onto your computer, the transfer process will simply copy the photos to your computer and will not delete them from the camera. There may be an option to delete the photos after transferring though. So I've got my digital camera and there's an SD card inside of it. Your camera may have a different form of media inside or it might not have a card at all. You can either take the card out of the camera and insert it into the computer's card reader or in most cases you can just plug the camera or device into your computer with its supplied USB cable. In both cases the computer should recognize that it has photos on it and either automatically open your photo capturing program or give you a few options for what to do with it. If it doesn't give you any options, right click the device in the computer window and select Open Autoplay or Import Photos, depending on the device. If your photo program opens up, it should prompt you to import the photos from your camera, and you should be all set. However, if you're given some options, select the one that lets you import photos. It might be the standard Windows Photo Importer or it could be another program. But for this demonstration, we'll use the built-in Windows Importer. It'll give you the option to tag your pictures before importing them. This basically lets you give them a common name for that set of pictures. You can also click Import Settings and change the options for this time and next time you want to import photos. You can set the location of where you would like your photos and videos stored on your computer, select a naming scheme, and a few other options. Click OK when you're done. When you're ready to import, click Import. During the import process, you'll see a checkbox to allow Windows to delete the photos from your camera after importing. Leave this box unchecked if you want to keep the photos in both places. After the import is done, you should see your photos right away. You can view them, of course, by double-clicking any of them and cycling through them by clicking on the buttons or hitting the right and left arrow keys on your keyboard. If you right click any of the photos, you're given a few options, including setting that photo as your desktop background. Well there you have it folks, the easy way to transfer your photos and videos to your computer from your camera. Once they're on your computer, you can edit them, email them, or even include them in a slideshow. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about this particular video or if you have any comments or training suggestions, just send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the more info section just below this video. And if you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, just call us at the number you see below or visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.